In recent years, Tarkov has gone through various updates regarding loot generation and ratios. In 2021, we saw the introduction of the dynamic loot system, which was well received and loved by most. It changed the way that a lot of people play the game and made sure that certain locations weren't being over trafficked. Then last year, in update 13.5, Tarkov received the random container spawns update. They increased the number of spawn points for containers on all locations, but randomized if a container would spawn or not. Before this change, there were various stashes scattered throughout maps like woods, customs, interchange, and shoreline. These stashes had a guaranteed spawn and provided a very linear system for looting quickly and efficiently. But after the update, this changed. This effectively rendered barrel runs a complete waste of time. For the next six months, it was up to fate if you found any decent loot during your raids. However, in patch 14, Battlestate Games made a fatal error. Part of the changes to the game in patch 14 included an expansion to shoreline, which if I'm being honest, when I first played this wipe, I was struggling to see what expansion they were talking about. But eventually I did did find it. And when I did, I was shocked that Battlestate added this place. Between the loot and its discrete location, this place just felt too good to be true. But I promise you it's not. Because of the health resort's incredible reputation and the various tasks that require you to go there, no one felt the need to find elsewhere to get all their loot. But what if I told you that this place is even better than the health resort? Today, I'm going to show you my guide for looting the smugglers camp. If you're going to run this round for money and nothing else, I recommend you extract if you spawn in the west of the map or the blue fence area. For this loot run, I like to bring a Zhuk vest, a 5x5 backpack, and a bolt action or an SKS that I can top load so I can save some space on my rig. I also highly recommend that you bring some rubles for the vehicle extract because it's just a short walk from the smuggler's camp but it can really help boost your scav rep. The smuggler's camp is located in the northeastern section of the map and there are various PMC spawns surrounding the area but there's one specific one to the south that's the best. Scavs have a chance of spawning at the smuggler's camp but what you might not know is that they added a spawn for the goons as well. Alright so getting into it I got that spawn to the south of the smuggler's camp I was talking about this is the best one in the game. And as I head up, there's going to be a table to the left here. There's a chance for some weapon parts and ammo boxes. Behind me on this chair uh, is a chance for the same thing. There's a green tent behind this area. Inside the tent there's a table where the same thing can spawn. And in back there's a weapon case spawn on this table. Now if you head out of the tent to the left and keep going back, there's a flat here where there can be some streamer items as well as some tool spawns and this wood toolbox. If you keep going further back to the right, there's this generator looking thing here which has three spawns for some items. So keep going back, on the right side along this collapsed wall, there's some snow actually filling in this area and it covers items. Now if you do a 180 and head back towards this table, I've also seen things like thermite spawn here. And if you keep going, this pallet in this trench here can spawn some weapon parts. If you go past the trench and look to the left, a wood toolbox can spawn here. If you turn around and look at this crate, I've seen Tetris spawn here as well. And to the right of the crate, there's a med supply box. To the left of all that, there's a little closet here and I've seen some tool items spawn in here. If you keep going towards this shack with the sandbags, on the table here, there can be some ammo box spawns and weapon part spawns, as well as on the floor. If you go inside this shack, directly to your left, a weapon box can spawn, to your right, a jacket can spawn, and to the back there's some food spawns. If you make a left of the shack and go to this carport, these pallets have some spawns. In the back of the yellow van, as well as on the right side of the yellow van, items can spawn in here. And on the ground around these vehicles, items can spawn. Towards the back left of this carport, there's a ration supply crate, as well as an item spawn on the table next to it. So heading towards this first warehouse, if you go between the red container and the wall, there are some item spawns here. Then if you go across the entrance, there's a green container where some tools can spawn in here. Heading back inside the red container, there's some tables where some items can spawn, and you want to make sure you look inside the papers. Smaller items can be hidden underneath. Then once we head to the warehouse to the left, there's a rack with some jackets that can spawn here. I've seen up to four. Then heading across to this table, I've seen items spawn here. And in this container on this table, I've seen items spawn here. Then on these blue shelves and the gray shelves, I've seen tools spawn here. If you keep going to the other side, all these tables here, I've seen items spawn. And you want to make sure to look underneath the objects on the table. Going back to the middle of the warehouse, there's a table here where some food can spawn. A plastic weapon case can spawn underneath this bed, and I've seen weapon parts and Tetris spawn on these green tables here, and tools on the shelves. If we head out of the warehouse, there's a pallet here where some items can spawn, and a toolbox next to this bulldozer. 
So turning around and heading all the way back to the front, there's another warehouse building. If we go down the stairs to the left, there are some blue barrels where weapon parts can spawn. Then if we keep following this wall, there are more barrels where weapon parts can spawn. Then if you head back here, there's a food spot on this pallet. Turning around and going back to the front, there are some tables here where food can spawn. Then if we head to the left of the warehouse, items can spawn on this crate. And if we head through the container and to the right, a wood toolbox can spawn here. As well as items on the ground, even back here. If you keep going, there's an entrance with some tables where more items can spawn. Then if we head to the front of the warehouse, jackets can spawn here. And on the other side on these tables, items will spawn on here. Behind you, you'll find this ration supply crate. And next to it, a shelf where some tools can spawn as well as on all of these tables. On this table on the right, there's a lot of papers. A lot of small items will be underneath those papers and you have to look for them. And then in these shelves in the corner, I've seen items spawn behind the shelves in the back by the wall. And then there's a medical supply crate here. So if you head all the way back up to the gun range, to the right there's a weapon case. And if you go all the way to the end, there's various weapon parts that can spawn on the ground. And always check the dead scav because this one has a lot of loot on him for some reason. Then behind the target boards, I've seen guns spawn, such as whole M4s. Then once you're full, you turn around and go to the right. The vehicle extract is just right there. Also, if you're thinking about camping this place, I wouldn't because there's landmines. There's more than enough loot here for a full squad, and if you're going solo, you'll be leaving a lot behind. I can easily make half a million rubles in running this place by myself. And when you factor in how close the spawns are and how close the vehicle extract is, it makes this place super strong. So if you're sick of getting head eyes in a resort, I think you're really gonna like this place. Anyways, thanks for watching, and happy looting!